Start with the example finder. Enter a search for strings. And the example we wish to open is parse string. We open this VI. We take a look at its block diagram. We see that there's two functions operating here. First, the string subset. And second, scan from string. Both perform a similar operation in that they take as an input a string as well as a numeric offset and return a portion of the string. The main difference, however, is that string subset just returns a portion of that string still in a string format, whereas the scan from string takes a portion of a string and converts it as necessary to numbers. Let's run this VI and observe the behavior. So first notice that our input string says volts DC and then a number in scientific notation. When we run this VI, we see that our string subset has pulled out just a two-character portion, DC. And our number output has returned the number 134.50, which matches, of course, the number represented here in the input string. Let's begin with the string subset function. Taking a look at our context help, we see that we have three inputs. The first is the string. Next, we have an offset whose default is 0, and third we have a length, whose default is rest, meaning the remainder of the string. The way this works is it takes its, the string input, starts at the offset position, and returns the desired number of characters. If we look at our front panel, we see that the offset is set to 6, which means that if we were to click through the input string, to the left of the V would be offset of 0, and if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We see that an offset of 6 puts us just to the left of the character D. Naturally, if the subset length is 2, the resulting subset is just the characters D and C. Next, let's take a look at the second function here. This is the scan from string function. Here, again, we have an offset as an input. However, in this case, we do not have a length. We have an offset an input string, and we notice that the output here has been connected to a double precision floating point number. Here our offset has been set to 9. If we start with our offset of 6, which was to the left of D, and we return to 7, 8, 9, we see that an offset of 9 places us just to the left of the plus sign. What this means is that the scan from string function will start at that portion of the string, examine the remainder of the string, and parse it, in other words, convert that string to a number. Notice how if we were to change the input string from having an exponent value of 2 to 5, the corresponding number also changes.